Hi guys, welcome to Rajshri Food. This is the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and today I'm getting a simple home style recipe for you. It's bindi fry. Let's begin. Well, I've cut some lady fingers or bindi as you call it and kept here. And I've cut these into roundels. It's very simple. You take a bindi or a okra or lady finger as you may like to call it and cut the cap of the vegetable. Turn it over and snip the tail as well. It's very simple now. All you do is at a little distance you just keep cutting into neat roundels something like this and similarly you keep continuing and processing the rest of the vegetables if you're comfortable taking a few more together like this you can also do this to just hasten up the process let me transfer the cut bindi in this bowl and let's continue cutting the onions and tomatoes for this i've taken up peeled and washed onion and i'm just cutting these into thick slices along with this i'm going to cut a tomato again into slices and finally with this some green chilies i'm just going to cut this at an angle so once these are cooked you can easily identify these amongst the cut bindis as well the vegetables are cut and ready let's begin with the bindi fry for this i'm heating a pan on moderate flame and adding in some oil so that it starts heating the first thing that goes in are the split chilies next the sliced onions a quick toss and with this julienne's of ginger give this a quick toss while this is sauteing in the pan let me add in a few pods of garlic quickly bash these and put this straight in the pan a quick mix and once these turn a little translucent i'll be adding in the bindis reducing the flame let's start adding the spices and the seasoning the first thing that goes in is some salt followed by turmeric powder coriander powder well if you wish so you can also use some freshly crushed coriander seeds and finally some chaat masala a quick few mixes a quick few tosses and the bindi can keep cooking for another 8 to 10 minutes on moderate flame while this is cooking make sure intermittently you keep stirring this so that it does not burn in pockets Well now that this is cooked almost 3/4 I'll be adding in the sliced tomatoes. I'm adding it at this stage so that the tomatoes do not become squashed and squishy. A quick few tosses and just make sure the tomato becomes relatively softer and not completely well done. And you can bite into one and check for the doneness. Well perfectly done. I'm just adjusting a little bit of seasoning which is salt. and there you go a quick few tosses again and off goes the flame once the flame is off i'll be adding in some lemon juice just maybe one of the wedges toss it again and this now goes straight on the dinner table with this sprigs of some coriander wedges of some lemon and here it's ready so here you have the simple easy and quick bindi fry which is done and ready do try this with full cast chapatis or a plain simple combination of dal and rice wait for what next the bombay chef gets into your kitchen